Back to the Twin Cities now. The defense now has the case in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. The prosecution wrapped up its presentation this morning after 11 days and more than three dozen witnesses. NBC's Jay Gray is in Minneapolis with a look at today and ahead. The defense opens with this police video. George Floyd, the passenger during a traffic stop in 2019. The officer at the time, Scott Creighton, he's the first witness. The passenger was um, unresponsive and non-compliant to my commands. You told him to undo his seatbelt, correct? That's correct, yes, ma'am. And he did that, right? Yes, he did. The prosecution during cross quickly and directly pointing to a difference between the stop and the day Floyd died. And Mr. Floyd didn't drop dead while you were interacting with him, correct? No. Thank you. The honor of the defense calls Peter Chang. Calling officers and a paramedic to the witness stand, the defense gets straight to three key elements of its strategy. Floyd's health and drug use. He told me that he had been taking multiple, like every 20 minutes. Why the use of force in the case may not look good, but was necessary and within the scope of Minneapolis police training and policy. I felt that Derek Chauvin was justified, was acting with objective reasonableness following Minneapolis Police Department policy. And that a growing crowd was hostile, a potential threat and distraction to Derek Chauvin the day Floyd died. They were uh, very aggressive, yes. aggressive towards the officers, yes. His lawyer, beginning an aggressive defense centered on their contention, it wasn't Chauvin's knee, but those outside factors that led to Floyd's death. Again, things moving at a much faster pace right now. The defense expected to rest its case by the end of the week. Jay Gray, NBC News, Minneapolis.